Hey, what is going down, guys? Talk Nerd City here, back for another video. Uh, Going to be reviewing the Barnsley game in this video. Literally just got back from Barnsley. It's about half, yeah, ten past ten. I got work in the morning at um, <clears throat> got to be up at quarter past four, so that should be fun. Um, yeah, a another loss. Oh, by the way, I've got some na chips, na chips, and basically like nachos and some guacamole as a little little snack because I'm culturally diverse when it comes to food. Uh, I haven't stopped eating today. I think I might have worms. Um, but yeah, another loss. Um, very annoying because I thought we were kind of back on track a bit. But today just highlighted just one, how, just how bad Brentford were last week. And two, it was just paper over the cracks basically. It was a very odd um, atmosphere at the end today. Um, the first half was one of the worst 45 minutes of football I've seen as a Norwich City fan. And I've seen a lot of bad football in my fairly short Norwich City supporting career. I'm not that old. Um, and people who I went with today were like, older than me have seen a lot worse. But today was definitely up there. That first half, there was no fight. There was no creativity. There was a complete lack of defensive solidity. Um, and we just fell to pieces against the very average, and I'm not, not disrespecting Barnsley, because they beat us today and, and, and they've done very well at things we didn't do so well at. But I don't think I don't even think their fans would be offended when I say it's a very average burnt, uh, Barnsley side. Got a couple of good players in there. But on the whole, a team that Norwich City should be beating. Um, we're constructed of millions and millions of pounds worth of players. And they're, they've done it on a shoestring budget. Um, but there was a complete lack of endeavour, fight, creativity. And we're basically back to square one playing this horrid horrid long ball football that wasn't working. Um, the midfield two of Dorans and Housen, I'm still not so sure about, and it, it was a lot better when um, Malumbu came on, Pritchard wasn't in the game, the Murphys were, were terrible out on the wings. Um, and I don't think any, like, you can really blame any individual player because everyone was collectively bad, but when the team goes out and you see Basong in there and Brady at left back when Olsen's on the bench, you just think, like, is it really going to work? Because... If you've got Alton on the bench who's a left back, you stick him on there. He clearly wasn't having problems with fitness because he ended up coming on. Basong um, was at fault for the first goal. Shocking defending. Um, and you just think we've got a Swiss international defender on here on the bench in Tim Close, who last season was one of the finest Norwich City players I've seen in a long while. Why is he not playing? There must be something going on because he wouldn't start the song week in, week out. Um, Close looked very blasé about it all at the end. I wouldn't be shocked if we saw, if we saw, see the back of him in January, which would be a real shame because I thought he, he, he offered so much and I loved him close. I really do. And I saw a few, I don't know if, this, if there's any legitimacy in this, so don't quote me on it, but I did see a few tweets saying that there's a clause in Tim Close's contract that says if he plays X amount of games, um, it triggers a clause and we have to pay 1 million euros, which apparently is if he plays once more. So I'm going to have a little, I'm getting a bit, I'm getting a bit annoyed here. So I'm going to have a little nachip or whatever they're called with a bit of guac. So there's that. Um, you go in at half time, everyone was booed off. Alex Neal said it was right that we were booed off because we were that bad. Second half, we were actually pretty decent. Um... Barnsley never had a look in. We had a lot of chances. Scored a nice goal. Oliveira was playing well. Malumbu turned into Yaya Torre suddenly. Basong was making tackles. Um, Pinto was getting up the pitch. We suddenly looked half decent. But at the end of the day, we still lost the game. Um, it's very interesting what happens when you put a left back in at left back. Um, and the whole team kind of changes. But you then you lose the game 2-1 and you've kind of got three different reactions at the end. You've got the people who booed, completely right, completely fair enough to do so, I think. You've got the people who clapped because the second half performance was decent. And then you've got the people like me who were like, I don't really know what to do, so I'm just going to stay quiet. Don't really think... Obviously, I want to clap the players, but at the same time, we were crap, so don't really deserve that. At the same time, don't really want to boo because we played okay the second half, and I kind of respect a lot of these guys. So I'm just going to stay quiet. Uh, and that was the situation we're in. Massive week coming up now. Um, 
Alex Neil, for me, should have been sacked after Brighton. I think we've held on way too long. We've done this before with Hewton, um, Neil Adams, to a certain extent. We got away with that one um, by bringing Alex Neil in. We've held on too long, I think. Um, at the start of the season, we were like, will we get top two? Now is, will we get top six? It's not the position we should be in. If this club, I've said it before, you can go watch my video after the, what game was that? Uh, I can't remember. A couple of weeks ago, a couple of away games ago, I made a big, a long review after the game. I basically said all, all the problems and stuff, and I was pretty honest. Um, we've still got their problems. They still need to be addressed. Uh, I can't talk about this concisely. There's a lot of issues at this club that need to be addressed, um, and a lot of bad times have been made this season by various people. Um, when, when we're in the situation we are now. Anyway, it was a good day. Um, I'm eating guacamole, so it can't be too bad. Let me know what you guys think about the game. Uh, how did you react at the end? Where do we go from here? I think if Alex Dill loses on Tuesday night, he should be sacked, but he probably won't. If he loses on Friday night, I think it's, I think it's game over. It should have been game over weeks ago, but we know our border isn't too quick making decisions. Uh, anyway, a massive thanks to you guys for watching and big support uh, over the past couple of weeks. In fairly uh, weird times for YouTube, I don't think it's working properly the website, so to keep a consistent view count that we have done, pretty decent. Thanks very much for that. I'll see you very soon. Peace out. Massive thank you to Credo Asset Finance for sponsoring all match day content here on Talk Norwich. So you guys can win yourself a luxury Christmas hamper. All you've got to do is click the link in the description, go on their webpage, uh, and then uh, fill, in, fill in the details. It's pretty simple, but a big thank you to Credo Asset Finance for sponsoring match uh, content on here. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. See you later.